three, two, one, live. Farts. Old farts. Two old farts. Steve and Dave. Sometimes you find a diamond in the rough. Not this time, though. This is just rough. Two old farts. There is no better waste of time. Two guys. Two old guys. A lot of BS and more drivel than you can shake a stick at. Steve and Dave. God help us. You know, David, I'm still, oh, we have our guest here. We have to put him in the green room for a second. Sorry about that. So, David, <laughs> here's, here's, here's the cool thing. I'm still trying to figure yeah, out what? which God is going to help us. I'm just letting you know. So. Oh, look, I keep telling you, Steve, there are many gods. I, many, I, many there gods. Are, there are. And, um, Mine's the Federal you know, Reserve. And I think, yeah, well, you know, in, in God we trust. Is that, is that what you Americans tell us? I, that's what the I don't I God not I know God and uh, we play poker on Thursdays. He's still into me for a few bucks, so uh, until he yeah, pays it, I'm not yeah. going to get carried okay, away. Okay. So okay. you know, I kind of tell you. So we have an oh, exciting yeah. guest today. We do, we do from sunny Holland. Um, well, Sorry. great Holland. I'm looking out my window here, but so okay. Yeah, a gentleman called Walter. As so I pronounce his name, probably Walter Visink. Um, wow. He's obviously going to correct. Going to correct correct my dutch because it's pretty if you can even speak english today that would be awesome well, if, it's the t it's the tablet Stephen. it's the tablet. I know. You, know. I, you take those pills pal uh, i know uh yeah well i've had probably had too many of them i'm a bit like a skippy ball yeah, i don't think you need to but take so, 26 viagra in the morning i just think it's one pill but hey you gotta oh, do what you got wow. <laughs> yeah I, i've got this i've got this like this permanent blue haze in my eyes Is that what it's <laughs> i love it <laughs> anyway um we have a, a, a PowerPoint presentation um, from wow. Walter, which you very kindly sent. We So anybody listening to this on the um, podcast, podcast, I politely suggest you jump off and jump onto the YouTube uh, channel because it's going to be a very visual show. And, um, yeah, so we're great. Don't, we don't know any too much about the gentleman as ever. Uh, I know he's an artist, a freelance artist, and I know he has he actually, has a, 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 he actually works for a living as well. So, um, yeah, we'll just see what happens. Very cool. And as we tell all our guests before they come on, it's just like you're stuck at a cocktail party. And unfortunately for you, you got stuck between David and I. So <laughs> yeah, God help you. So there you go. So let's bring him in, WW. So and see yeah, what he's got to what he's got to tell you. Hey, hello. Go. Well, hello. Hey, good afternoon. Hey, good good afternoon, Walter. Hey. <laughs> nice, nice to meet you guys. Hope, nice to meet I you. I pronounced your name properly. Yeah, it's a lot of confusion, especially when I talk to English people. And mostly it, they say Walter, but it's uh, wow. It's like you say wow, and then wow, tur, wow, tur. Yeah, wow, you know? yeah. Yeah, and that's, that's the way to pronounce it. Or WW, like uh, Stephen also said, is also, uh, they use it uh, often, very, very often also. So uh, okay. no problem. Well, is see, it, being yeah. from New York, I got to get that in, because now I'm getting paid again from them, not your Nigerian bank people. Um, we we shorten everybody's name. Like Steve becomes Stevie, Mike becomes Mikey, and a name like yours, it just Lovely. becomes W. It's like where's WW? It's like very. It's like you know we just get to the point of what we need to where we need to get to. Yeah. Yeah. So, and Davy is Davy. This is the way it works. Uh, you know? well, that's the way it is. You know. That's because we love everybody. So now we we have pictures, and I'm not talking the usual pictures we show where we have to hide the children and cover their eyes. But we have a PowerPoint presentation, apparently, with lots of art and beautiful pictures, right? We do. And as much as I can understand from Walter, he's probably going to give us a bit of a voiceover going through. So a little bit of it. Nice. I understand it, Walter. It's a, it's a bit of a journey through your yeah. through your art, is it not? Is that, That's uh, right. Okay. That's right. Okay. From the beginning till, well, till now. Okay. Well, let, let's jump on to that. Um, maybe we run out of time. Maybe we don't. I know you've got some stuff around you in your studio do you like to show us uh, if yep. we get to it great if not you know come back yep. uh, for part two and uh, we'll go on from there um so this is uh what we have they're just listed as slide one up to slide wherever wherever the slide finishes. Yes, of course. Ooh, so very pretty is, yeah this is slide always... one so <laughs> Walter, yeah, well, uh, it's it's over to you well, I have to start, let's say, before even before this period, because I started uh, doing drawing at the art school in, uh, in Belgium. Right. And um, there I learned to, to draw with, with let's say, 
uh, pencil uh, with, uh, let's say, black and white, always black and white. And it was very difficult for me because to because I was used to work with black and white. I was really afraid to use color in the beginning uh, because you, I've did it for three years. And then um, uh, starting at the uh, academy in painting, I think it was 10 years later, I started the academy with painting because I thought, okay, I've done drawing, which is very good because you, you learn to, to know the dimensions, the, the perspective and things like this. I was very curious, how, how about using some colors? So you see in the first one, they're still using black and white, but it's also what they learned from the, from the start. And this is still life. And um, I think it's, it's, it's not, not a bad one. And um, uh, using no color at this that time, but started to, to use it very, uh, in, a, in a very afraid way, let's say. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Wait, what, are you Dutch, Walter, or are you, or are you Belgian? Because I know you studied yeah, in yeah, I'm, a little bit, I'm a little bit of both. Uh, I, okay. I'm Dutch born. In the Netherlands, uh, but I was I stayed for almost all my life in uh, in Belgium. So when I for a Belgium I speak Dutch, and for a Dutch one I speak Belgium. So I'm um, <laughs> I'm a border a borderline. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well, so was Stephen and I. So you're in good company. Um, right. Let's let's uh, let's move on. Slide number yeah. two. Oh, oh yeah. Cool. yeah. You see a lot of uh, this. This is more pencil drawings uh, from. Uh, Let's say also some the, the right one I just uh, finished uh, last month because sometimes I like to to go back to um, just drawing because it's you learn a lot and uh, those are also assignments the two uh, the first two using a little bit of color in the first one and uh, getting the perspective and uh, it's it's learning learning how to to look I think uh, when you start to to do art it's learning how to how to look how to get uh, look, look at the, the, the dimensions and um, uh, yeah, uh, look, look uh, if, if this person which are, is, has a large forehead or a small forehead and you will notice when you're drawing or you're painting a lot, you, you notice more on people when you look to them, ah, that, that guy has a big nose, that guy has a large eyes, you mean, you know, you see the um, non-perfectionist uh, perfection um, um, uh, things in the, in the persons, but that makes it good. That makes it interesting, and that's also the last one. I uh, think you you know them. It's uh, Clint Eastwood. Yeah, I was gonna say that looks like that looks like Dirty Harry, and I wasn't sure, yeah, Harry, but yeah. I was like, that really looks yeah. like Clint Eastwood. So either you have a relative that looks exactly like Clint Eastwood, or that's Clint Eastwood. So that's very cool. Yes. I know what you're thinking, yeah. Punk. You see, you say here, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then I see, and, and then our joke is you have a little pussy to the left. So you people that are on yeah. the podcast are missing the pussy. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is the reason why you have to get onto the YouTube guys, and because you, really you, need, you miss all the pussy. But Walter, the the art school. Before we move on to the next one, was it something that you always wanted to do, or, or were you doing this yeah, in your spare well, time? Because I, uh, I know I, I know you have a full time job as well. Yes, uh, as well as as well as being an artist. Yeah, well, I, I, I got more time free when I when the, the kids went, went older. And I always wanted to, to uh, I was always drawing something in school, you know. The teacher was not happy with it, but uh, drawing something at school. And then I, I thought, okay, uh, I want to do really, to do something for myself. And I started to do uh, the art school and, um, and, and painting. So these are not made at the art school because I do also next to the art school a lot of things. The left one is for my um, uh, father-in-law, um, because he's a favorite of um, of trains. That's so beautiful. I did, uh, one for him, and the uh, right one is uh, let's say a building, and it's in, in I think it's Austria or Germany, and um, I finished them uh, last year. And um, well, it's it's uh, you see also color now, huh? becoming. Right. So you know, is bit. your is your stuff for sale? Like if somebody sees something on our show and goes, I gotta have it. Yes. Can they yeah. buy something? So what is your um from your from your drawings to your paintings to what so what's like the price range of different things? Well, uh, sometimes people say uh, draw me last last thing I did you will see later is that okay. somebody said, Okay, I've all black and white in my in my living room. Can you make something in color? And um, they saw a little bit what I'm uh, now uh, doing is a lot of perspective and 3D. Right. So I made something in color for that person, uh, especially dedicated for him. It's not, it's it's more fantasy, but I can also do things like uh, people say, look, uh, 
make me a drawing of a landscape I went to, uh, for instance, on a, on a holiday. Right. And right. it's a beautiful picture. I want to have a drawing or uh, things like this. I, 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 do, I do this also. And I'm making, for instance, for a company, a foley that they put, can, can put on a window, on set, right. six windows, um, and containing their, let's say, uh, something about energy, lighting, um, electricity, and I'm just making something up and uh, to draw it. That's more electronically. It's doing a sketchbook, and okay. then they uh, develop it and they, they put it on, on on the on let's say the, the windows. Mm -hmm. So that, these are things I can uh, I do uh, on let's say when people ask me to do it. So it's okay. certainly a possibility. Yes. So yeah. but so if someone wants to buy something like the, the this. Like this gentleman, oh, the, the one with the beard that looks like a, my rabbi um, that I have to see every Saturday. And he tells me how bad of a Jew I am, which, you know, he's probably correct. Um, so if somebody wants to buy the Rebbe picture, how much would something like that go for? Well, the rabbi is, um, it's a long time ago, but I think you have to figure out something between, depending on the size, 400 or, uh, or 600 uh, euros. Okay. The only reason I ask is because we will have people that will email us after they see this. They'll be like, how much is that? That's really cool. How do I do that? And, you know, we can put them in touch with you unless you have a, like, yeah, a website. Sure. But so we always like to ask because, you know, we have some artists um, that come on and some of their stuff, like one of them will be like, this is $250,000, which for a lot of people, they're probably not going to buy it, but they like it. They'll buy a print. Other people, we have artists that come on and say, you know, my stuff's between just say two or 300 euro to like 3000 euro and people are like, I like it, I can afford it. So we want to give them the opportunity if they want to buy it, to be able to buy it. So that's why I, have. I just, but this is, this is a gorgeous other, picture. I just sold two other paintings, which are right. larger, let's say 120 on one meter. And I was about uh, 11, 1200 euros. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's 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 a good and you price, ship and you ship globally, I assume. So if somebody in the United States or Asia yeah, wants to buy it, you can ship globally. Ship. Yes, of course, it's no problem. Okay. I keep it globally and uh, yeah. just uh, the handling cost uh, added to it. So there's yeah. no problem. Yeah, yeah. as as Very always, cool. people, you know, shipping and the insurance is always for the buyer. Right. Uh, yeah, but, uh, you know. Yeah. Or I can bring it if it's in uh, Hawaii, then I like to bring it also. In. If it's in Hawaii, Florida, you know, Tahiti, somewhere warm, he'll be more than happy to, to fly over there and hang it for you. I, I will, I will uh, deliver it, no problem. There you go. He'll hang it for you on the wall. Oh, that's very pretty. <laughs> yeah, that was also uh, at the Academy. We uh, that, That's something strange because we're uh, working at the Academy now for um, seven years. You see almost everybody going to abstract Right. And um, I also tried to do abstract. I like it, but it's not my, let's say, uh, my core inner core to, to go to abstract. I like it, but uh, uh, I'm not, I don't think I'm that good in it. But this is a little bit abstracted from a, a building. It's an apartment, apartment okay. buildings. And um, I, I just abstracted it to, to something which looks like this. And um, yeah. it's, it's nice to do for, for, uh, for a while. Uh, but I, I like figurative more, let's say. Yeah, it, it's funny, Walter, because for a lot of, I, I think I found you on, on, on Facebook, one of the many art groups that I'm always, you know, sniffing around and trying to find, uh, you know, great, new and exciting art to, to share. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. To share, to share with the world, hopefully. Yeah. At least with all our 12 global, our 12 global uh, uh, visitors that we have. But it, it would seem that everybody goes, the people who can't paint, paint abstract. <laughs> so yeah, you're kind of you're kind yeah, you're, you're kind of working back the other way, you know. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll yeah, go into I, see, I see people who are really good in painting, and then the last two years they started to do, go to completely to abstract. Uh, I find it so, such a pity because uh, they were so talented. Um, but okay, it's their thing. Yeah, it's a choice. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, for some people, like this is the future, and this is what they want, and. Uh, it's yeah. colorful, but not necessarily confrontational as some of the, you know, the, the illustrations are. But um, yeah, yeah I'm, 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 Stephen, you, are, you a, are you an abstract or does it have to be, you know, real art for you? No, no, I, I have in our collection, we have abstract, we have everything. I just, I, it has yeah. to appeal, as I've said on other shows, it has to appeal to me. Like if I look at it yeah. and it makes me smile, it could yeah. be an abstract. It could be like the lady that painted the cow with the tongue. It could be any of yeah. that. So it's sort of, if it makes me smile, that's, we have, then we have to get it. If it's just, some stuff's very pretty and it's, it's nice, 
but it doesn't if my one when i started to collect one of my friends said you gotta make you smile inside and out so if it makes me smile inside and out i'm like we have to own it if it just makes if it's just pretty it's pretty but um it's yeah so i have a, a, an eclectic collection because it's got to make me smile i'm not worried about when i yeah. die and you know the wife and the stepkid get it yeah they do whatever they want with it but I'm, i i have to enjoy it now a lot more get another 30 40 years going so i want to make sure i enjoy it like this stuff is absolutely gorgeous love this stuff but well, this is also because i uh, this little bit also what i i was struggling with at the art academy because i um, right. i'm a technical background i did university right. electrotechnics and that's an advantage and a disadvantage the advantage is in, in my work you have to stay between the lines i have a specification Right. You don't want to go outside because you don't want to blow the, the, the thing to explode, for instance. But in, in, in art, you have to think outside the box. I know it's really, really struggling with this, you know, because um, I always kept kept so tight on is this correct and, and things like this. And then um, I thought, hey, well, let's do something uh, which is uh, in between. Like this is a little bit technical, uh, but art and um, uh just just to try it out see what happens and and uh and um yeah it's 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 my my first step to 3d let's say yeah. which i like a lot i, I mean, like the perspective some of the some of the you know architectural plans can be absolutely beautiful just uh you know yeah, just to look yeah at them. i think so and they uh, and they have to they themselves have to fit within that within that free uh that format interesting yeah. to say that you you have a very structured mind and so therefore you, you <laughs> You struggle to be an unstructured uh, when you paint. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're institutionalized during our lives. That's a pity sometimes. Yeah. And uh, yeah. when you start to, to do art, uh, you have to think outside the box, which really is difficult when you really are stuck in. Was, to, was that the remit then, Walter? Was that the remit that uh, your, your, your mentor said, look, now you're going to draw something, Walter, and it has to be outside of the box? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now thinking outside of the box and thinking 3D and even go come out of the painting, uh, which is interesting, I think, uh, because uh, painting you can do, we always paint in, in let's say, one, one 2D, two-dimensional, but now I'm, you will see it later on. I'm starting to go, come also out of the uh, two dimensions and go into the three dimensions, which gives uh, something between, let's say, uh, yeah, um, uh, material and uh, in 3d and a, and a painting which is also interesting yeah, yeah i like that that looks like new york city from above yeah 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 <laughs> it's a, it could be it could be it's a, it's my first well this was in fact the moment when i thought oh that's really interesting doing um, 3d and perspective that was my first uh, because I, I liked it also because you get sucked into it Mm -hmm. And uh, people are always, uh, you. I like it when people are looking to it and saying, whoa, it's look, I'm, I'm going to dive into your painting. I hope they don't do it, but I... Uh, I <laughs> it, it's strange because, of, I mean, Stephen, uh, you said it looks like New York City. That took me off a thought pattern because I, I, I my very, very first thing, the, the brain fart that rushed through my head was, it looks like a, um, a very, um, uh, yeah, improvised stacking of planks, planks oh, okay of wood. Ah, yeah 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 but, yeah, but, yeah i mean everybody can plainly see it's new york city david but yeah listen yeah. If you want to go with the planks of wood hey. <laughs> you know <laughs> that's what's great about this type of art you can interpret yeah. it to be whatever this could be a group of clowns makes no difference right if you if you yeah. think it's a plank of wood for people, for people looking from a from above yeah. yeah yeah it's very I, whether it's a plank of wood new york city or any large metropolitan area yeah, it's a gorgeous yeah. piece of work right yeah. so it's all perception yes that's a good good thing in fact that's perception yeah and this one's a little bit the, there's also a, an assignment the left one and the right one also the left one is a painting the right. white one is made out of um out of uh wood oh very um, nice you can see in the the it's a it's sticking out of coming out of the let's say the the, the square, and are there are uh, three or four layers on top of each other, right? And you will see it in the next in the next slide, I think. So wait, if somebody wants to buy one of the, how much are these two? Yeah, these are a little bit more because it's really a lot of uh, work. These are right. really uh, it's like two thousand five hundred because okay, the white one with all the wood, you have to to glue it, you have to uh, right. Uh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's that's okay. 
I mean, the people that watch our show have, you know, disposable income. So we want to make sure if somebody likes it and they want to buy it, they at least know yeah. what it is so they can reach out. Yeah, but it's yeah. awesome. If you want, if you, people, people who collect art know they have to pay for it. You know, it's yeah. as simple yeah. as that. Yeah, you don't see it very often. The nice thing is also when you see the sun coming in from uh, the window, and because it's three layers, you can see the shadows coming into the wall, and also right. in the painting itself, which is interesting. So yeah. it gives an extra dimension. Very pretty. Yeah, and for me, the, for me, the right, the left hand one looks like uh, I'm looking down on a container port. Looking down on the top of the yeah, containers. The containers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Awesome. I'm still with New York City on this one. So sorry, Dave. <laughs> yeah, but you're, you're you're obsessed with New York City, Stephen. So yeah, what can I tell you? <laughs> yeah. What can he say? He's sky diving. We'll yeah, forget. Sky diving. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Then the end of that journey is splat. I think. But then... <laughs> now you can see my preparation on the on the top. You see the three layers. Right. So the left the left one is the first layer. And the second one and then the third one but you have to really think about how to uh, because you have to paint also the first layer first the second layer second and the third layer and the last you really have to think in which order you have to paint them you see uh, on the second one that we're already painting the uh, the, the underground the, the first layer and uh, on top the other layers you see the right one that i have, haven't finished the third layer which is coming on top of that and uh, that really gives a special um, special effect. It's quite nice. It's it's of course heavy because it, if you wanted to put it, it's, uh, it's made of I don't know. It's called in, in English MDF. Is it the same? Yeah, MDF. It's like it's uh, sort of a pressed. Yeah, uh, pressed wood. You know, okay. Pressed wood. Yeah, it's like sawdust and. Um, uh, well, uh, you know, oh, it's basically all the Chinese furniture people buy online and get and put together in their house. Pressed wood yeah. Chinese furniture. Sure, I yeah. totally yeah. know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. There is a, there is a, a, a very famous Swedish company that also does a lot of this sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> IKEA. Yeah. They make you know what? They make good meatballs, even though they got rid of the horse. It's still a good meatball. I'm just saying. So. Yeah. Perhaps I can do a mass production and uh, sell it to IKEA. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> So it's uh, yeah, it's quite a lot of work, but it's nice because I I glue it together with uh, uh, with uh, lime lime yeah, lime right. and uh, yeah, gr glue put, yeah press it together and uh, put things on it to really to uh, glue it uh, very well. Yeah. yeah, I think it would be an interesting piece you know to have in your foyer if you're a company you know like it's just, it's like and as you say yeah. you know you can have spotlights on it the light the coloring could change throughout the day. An That's an interesting piece, piece for any anybody to have. That would be an interesting piece just for a normal person to have with a little light on top of it with the, in the right setting. Yeah. yeah, it was a pity that I had to sell it because it was in my, my room and I had to sell it. Well, I had to sell it. There was an assignment, but uh, it was nice. Yeah. So this it. is no longer available then? We're talking about something that's no longer available. No, it's, but I can make it. Eh? I can make it if they say, look, it's really something I want. Uh, then I get in contact and I will uh, do it on, on uh, for for them. I, it's no problem. I, yeah. There you go. Yeah. A commission piece just for yeah. you. Oh, I like this. This is very it's cool. Also, uh, made the same way. Uh, these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers. Okay. And uh, on top of each other, so that is a lot of work. But um, yeah, I have to glue it. Think about the second layer, and uh, it's always difficult because making the other layer on top of it. You have, really have to figure out that it doesn't stick over, but it just, yeah, you, you have to measure very well, you know? Is this, and I is this, is see this, also a shadow, is but I, a, I, I painted the shadow, so it looks is like this oh, a wow. physical, Walter, is this a physical product then? This is not a painting. This is another 3D pr product, 3D art. It's a, it's a, a product that I, I, I sold also, yes. Or do you, okay. what's your question? The, yeah, it's, 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 is this a piece of art or is this again pressed wood? Is what I think is wood. pressed wood. Yeah. Wow. Yes, it glued to each other. Yeah. So one by one. I did this one before the other one, and um, and and the people are really thinking that's a nice thing because because people stand in front of it thinking, is that oh it's yeah, it's, it's like it's in fact two D it's not coming out because everybody thinks. Like I made something that comes out of it, right? But it doesn't come out. It's just glued, and because of the colors of the shadings, it looks like they sticking out of the the let's say the the middle. But it's uh, it it is not. 
Yeah, wow. That is very, very, very cool. Yeah, you can see a whole series of those in different colors. Huh? That would make yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that would be you know like, seriously wow. You had two or three of them in a room. This is or the really boardroom. Great. Over great. all those people, we got lots. You know, all these companies who need some unique art. This is the place to come, yeah. guys. It's it's something special, yes. Yeah, yeah. And I like I like to work on it because like working with wood is very nice to do also. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure your neighbors are well well impressed if you're up at like six o'clock in the morning with the uh, <laughs> yeah. with, the, with your with the electric power saw uh, making all this stuff. So, yeah. uh, I put the or, or, in the neighbors uh, when, uh, yeah. Yeah, or or are you as your as your uh, good lady wife uh, said, you know, you have to now push you out into the shed in the garden to do it all. Well, I do it. I do it outside when it's possible, uh, yeah. and it's cold like this. Uh, I do it in, uh, let's say. Uh, where the, the 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 washing machine and the laundry is uh, so uh, there will be some dust on it <laughs> there's also a special effect <laughs> yeah and this is uh, the first time i used the uh, led because uh, also from my, my work which i'm doing uh, on a regular basis i'm a led specialist and i made something which i have here also um, to integrate LED into um, into uh, let's say a system, so I, I created also the, the the LEDs. I inserted them, I um, I uh, soldered them, and I put them uh, inside, and then you get these special effects that you can create. So there are uh, you can change color, and uh, just 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 to start. Eh? This is the first one, and, and I I made some others. I will show you later on, and. Um, because I think it's interesting to include LED in painting or something like uh, 3D uh, that you can create special effects. And then you, and in, in the daylight, you have another art than in the night, because in the, in the night you don't, it's dark, you don't see the art, but you see the light effect, which is also nice. It's almost like Thomas Kincaid, the guy who paints landscapes, and then he puts lights in his trees and his houses is his, in his landscape paintings. Yours yeah. is more, um, I think, modern and 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 very cool. His stuff is like you know, grandma and grandpa are going to hang it, but they can turn it on and it has lights that pop in the back. But your yeah. stuff is more more hip, if you will. So very very cool. Yeah, and, and so and with a color palette as well, Walter. So it. it, it does this run randomly or can you choose particular colors because it's, yeah, it's a one-off piece can... isn't it regardless of the color of your room you buy it once if you paint your room again you just put uh, just yeah. like different, uh, yeah. lights you can yeah. change the color nowadays you have led but it depends on the on the quality you have to uh, to to buy it from because the difficulty of course now you have these these things which are um, i've got one here which are very cheap you know with the remote control and all colors and you you can uh, you can buy them uh, let's say in a cheap shop but if you really want to do it in let's say more um quality manner then you have to really buy a, a good uh, let's let solution with a remote control that you can do for instance integrate uh with um, bluetooth or something like this because this you have to if you use this you have to really point out to the infrared sensor which is on the painting which i think is sometimes not very professional you know you want to have a system that you go in your um, that you're in your seat and you want to have a uh, bluetooth you can connect and then you can change the light for instance right. but for to, to, to try it out it's it's really really good yeah, yeah it's a beautiful piece yeah yeah it's Thanks. fascinating stuff this this is oh, the same I have, um, I have it here uh, behind me um you see by daylight is the left and right is uh, when you put on the leds which are inside the cubes that oh, i wow. put in there so it gets especially you only see it when you pass through it pass by it because um you don't see it when you walk on the side and you pass by this uh, this art and then you see hey, chill, there's some leds inside which with different colors that is very cool yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's also um, made of MDF again, uh, the, the, and uh, different layers also. And in fact, you could I tried to put LEDs between the layers, but because it's so dark, you don't see the reflection. 
you should I should have if you make it white for instance you could do even put LED behind that you have a reflection on the, on the, the background for instance yeah but it's uh, it's nice because it's separated the LEDs from the uh, the rest of the art and by daylight it's completely different than uh, at night so if, if we go right back to the very first uh, the, your, your drawings that you were doing at, at the art academy and now we're doing now we're doing this, this sort of stuff it seems as if your work and your hobby is sort of you know sort of have this sort of crash together yeah and, um you know this is this is the new you as an artist is is you know it, are you stimulated by going more and more and more by doing this sort of stuff or you yeah yeah I, I, that's yeah. right I, I think i should have done architecture instead of electronics but uh, <laughs> now yeah. i'm uh, i can do it in uh, let's say my spare time and um uh, i like to because, because painting is still something i like very much i'm doing now landscape which i, I like also a lot but uh, making some depth or 3d or um or things like this a mixture of both is, is nice because working all time on this uh i tend to to think of afterwards now i like to do a painting you know and then when i do some paintings i think okay this could, could also be nice and it's a, a mixture of both sometimes you see that you are can stick with one thing which is also not bad, but um, yeah, I'm always a person who likes to do more things, exploring and um, try to find out uh, things that are not done, which are taking a lot of time, sometimes too much, because I'm, I'm at the academy, I only make sometimes uh, three works in one year, and the person next to me, she makes uh, one, one, uh, one every, every lesson, <laughs> so she makes about, 40 every year so there's a huge difference but i'm really yeah i have the uh, the patience to do this and uh, to uh, to try it out so very that's cool stuff nice. oh, this very is nice also, yeah. this is also my 3d which i like to do a lot because you see a little bit the three dimensions in the stairs and uh, the, the building and uh, to the right also coming out of the painting and, and that that's really uh, my thing now what i, I like uh, like to do a lot the 3d and the colors also yeah. now now i'm not afraid to use colors as you see yes um, um, i like to 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 work with blue also a lot but uh, just personally but um, uh, yeah very pretty very nice this, this is like going on a museum tour. I like this. It's like, you know, like all the work's being done. So I like this. We get like the, the whole studio tour. Yeah, the abandoned buildings I like also, you know? Yeah, I see that. <laughs> now, I'm strangely strangely drawn to that. I, I could happily, the, the, you know, what I'm, what I'm looking at, the left-hand side one, uh, the stairway. Uh, yeah. I, I, I'm just so drawn to that. I could just have that in a room. Just sit in front of it and just you know walk up and down those steps hundreds of times and then uh, yeah every time will be yeah. a different journey i'm sure fascinating Absolutely i think fascinating. With, with drawings drawings like this that the people when they look to it they start to to figure yeah. out how it was in the past yeah. that people were there you know and how was life were their family or we get to imagine some some story behind it which is nice is that, yeah, a, is that a building near you then? This one, or this is a fantasy no, building? I found, uh, I found this picture, a uh, picture on the on the internet of an abandoned building. It looks like this, and I started to to uh, to paint it. And um, you can find a lot of because a lot of people they they make uh, pictures of abandoned buildings, and which is very nice. It's even even um, and especially when you see a lot of depth because mostly the, these buildings are empty. Mm can see the dimensions you, you you can see the architecture of the building and um, because it's so dirty and and, um, and the, the, the 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 paint is is off the wall uh, it's very nice to paint it because it gets more character you know no, that's Which very nice. beautiful i like that one that's very nice thanks and the other one is a is a block a block of flats is that what it is yeah, or flat, a, a block? Flat. and um these are, um, let's say, um, um, how you call it, a terrace sticking out of flat. And apparently it was a building because I was in Montpellier, which was a time ago. And it's a building in Montpellier where every 
flat has a, a terrace sticking out of the of the building and i i just put a i just took a let's say a, a piece out of it and uh, and painted it extended it and um, painted it because i thought it was very nice it's difficult because you have to really think about the perspective and and, and that it it looks natural also and with the shadows yeah Oh, wow, well, more stuff. Very more nice. More abandoned buildings. Yeah. Yeah, also. It almost looks like building. a picture. The one on the right almost looks like a picture. Yeah, the, a lot of people like the, the right one. I, it was, uh, it was in, uh, in my office uh, from where I work uh, for one year. And uh, a lot of people liked it very much because of the, the depth and the colors. It's a little bit dramatic colors, perhaps, because some people say, oh, to to get to have it in my rooms, perhaps the colors are too let's say too um, too dark for me. But um, it depends where you hang it, of course. And the left one is also I have it here. It's hanging now in my um, in my living room, uh, yeah. which is a reflection. You see water on the on the floor, and the reflection of the door into the water. They're both. And sometimes good if you don't yeah. really see what is happening there, you know. I, 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 I favor the one on the right, though. So. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I was just going to say that, Stephen. It, it, it's another one that, that I'm, I'm already walking down that corridor. And it's full of light. I can't see how anybody could see that it's not full of light. You know, it's... Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. yeah that, that's... that's uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you wonder what's at the end, then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, that, that, and that's, that's, that's the sort of art that I like. As I said, I'm not necessarily anti... Um, you know, impressionist or, you know, weird and wacky stuff. I mean, because, you know, we, we, we have a lot of artists on that do it and it's great and I love all the colours, but it's just something, I don't know, I just, I just, I, I want to walk down that corridor and that, that just lifts it just slightly more for me. Yes. But, yeah, the effect is, it's quite simple to, to, uh, to draw it because it's one, uh, one perspective drawing and it's, um, you can pull it and it's a uh, quite uh, it's quite easy in fact but people think it's very difficult but it's quite easy if you look up one perspective drawing it's not not so difficult to do but of course you have to to draw and the rest of course when you have the lines <laughs> yeah and of oh, course your color right. palette you, you, you the color palette and you're in the artistic yeah. eye so yeah. yeah that's 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 uh, of course the other thing you have to uh, you have to do yeah. Okay. So this is the penultimate oh, uh, slide today. Yeah. Well, the the two left ones because it was also there was an assignment, and then I said, okay, the the, the person was not sure what to what she liked. I said, uh -huh. look, I will first do some drawings by hand on um, which sketchbook, which is a, a digital uh, drawing. You do, perhaps you know it. And then I made some hand drawings. I changed the color because she was not sure which which color to use. And then from the two left ones, she said that the, the left right above, I like the most. And then I made it, let's say, more um, uh, yeah, really sharpened, uh, which is the right one with the reflection in the water on the, on the front. And I actually made two of them because uh, somebody else liked it also very much. Um, she wanted to have it also, so I made two of them. And now there's another person who also wants one, so I have to make another in another color. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for, for for me, the right, the left hand one. So um, I don't know that I like I like the the there seems the to be more fluidity in the reflection in the water. The yeah. other one is very. Uh, the other one, I can see your technical skills in it. I, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but the left one yeah. is in neat. Yeah, yeah. I think you're yeah. right. Yeah. Top left one, yes, is very pretty. Where yes. the right one is yeah. more. For lack of a better term, more uniform. Where you're like, this yeah. is the color. Yeah. This is this. Where the where the left one will take you on whatever fantasy or whatever journey you want to go on because yeah. it's very yeah. abstract. So it's very beautiful. Yeah. They're both. They're all beautiful. So yeah, I think you're right. The the left one uh, above. Huh? Yes, the left yeah. one above. The left one yeah. below is very cool, but that is very. The left one below hits you in your face because of that yellow. It yeah, just yellow pops. Right? It's like you walk into a room and see that. That's you're gonna be like wow. That's like boom. Like I'm here. And then the upper left is very, it still hits you, but it's a very subtle hit. It's very like, this is really cool, more imaginative. It's like you just get lost in the space. So that's how yeah. I see it. But I don't know anything. That's what I mean also to get 
step out of the box. Right. Uh, the left one is more uh, stepping out of the box for me than the right one is, is let's say, more comfort zone than the right one. Yeah. And the left one is yeah. more, which I like also, but I'm, sometimes you're afraid to do it. Right. But you don't have to be afraid to do it because it, it gives good to, you just have to do it sometimes, you know, yeah. to get yeah, out should be afraid. Don't be afraid of anything. What do they say? There's nothing to fear but fear itself. Eh, I play poker with fear on Friday. He's okay. You're good. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like. Yeah, I, mean, I, I agree that the the top, the top uh, left hand one. I, you know, I, I, it's almost as if I'm looking out. I'm in a boat, and I just have this quick glance at these buildings, and that's what I see. Yeah, and that just kind of it just kind of stays with me. Yeah. So uh, after one yeah. after yeah. one too many scotches, no. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now uh, this is then uh, the very last one as well, and we're 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 racing up towards our own deadline, so. We hope we have an opportunity to see some other bits and pieces. If not, to have to come back and see us again and talk yeah, to us again. With some my, last, my last um, uh, thing that I'm, I'm, I'm currently making. Oh yeah, we'd love to see that. But let's. Yeah. Oh, this is very nice. These are just uh, like yeah. a house. Let's see what he's. Let's see what he's currently doing. He's moving uh, his camera, so we'll do the solo. Um, put it here. We go. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, this is uh, why I take it closer. So okay. this is all LED. Um, and you see a square. I have to point it correctly. This Very is nice. Square. These are three squares with blue, and um, one after the other. And, and wait, I have to to open it. That you, that you can see how it's made. So, um, oh, the magician's going to open the box. Oh, <laughs> very cool. So this is, let's say. Um, uh, what I made on the academy, so three right. layers, as you see. Oh, and wow! And then you just okay. uh, shift this. You can put it inside here. Okay. You can uh, also change the background if you want to. Oh, sorry. Oops. Change the background if you want to. Oh, okay. The different colors and put it in. And this is just uh, sticking into this one. Oh wow! Yeah. Uh, but uh, that is very yeah, cool. I That's mean, like a, yeah. almost like a theater piece, eh? as if it's a, a theater set, mini theater set. It's what? It's almost as if you're, you're building a set for a theater. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Actually, I'm I'm making four of these, but the four are uh, are different. The same, oh, let's say, the same color set, but different in um, how they are built. Some some of the the next one is let's say more shifted, right. and then they will. Be connected together. Oh wow! Uh, by um, uh, let's say copper copper leech, which are uh, very thick, and connected to each other because the wire is not so nice to use, and uh, and then they are connected together. And you can put it on the wall, let's say in four or five uh, squares, which are giving light, and you can change, of course, also the light, um, like red. But I think the blue one is, is quite nice. Oh, there you go. The green very one. cool and if you and of course wait i have to put the light out because then you see it better oh wow wow very pretty and, um, this you can either take off or you when you put it on you get a different effect because then you see less reflection on the top i have to to uh make it uh, let's say uh, close to the side but uh, right. it gives a different effect when you uh, take it off because then you're also in light the wall above you see very cool so this is and if you have four of those that it's going to that'll be gorgeous if you put four of those together that's going to be very cool yeah that's yes. going to seriously pop in the, in the room that one that is beautiful so that that's is uh, beautiful. quite quite some work because you have to paint all the lines but um yeah that is so, very very cool i almost made Four of them I made now the, the second one, but it's, as you see, it's quite intricate. It's very intricate. Yeah. It's also very nice. the uh, 3D effect that you as you see. Yeah. Yeah? Right. You just turn it, just turn it slightly so you're gonna let so let yeah. oh yeah, here we go. Yeah. And now 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 the magic's now now the magic's out of the box. 
you know, you know <laughs> now you see it. It's marked off. Because, Here's uh, the best part. Even though the magic's uh, out of the box, no, David and I still part. couldn't. We still couldn't do this. So, oh it, no, it, works, no. it, it worked. This is gorgeous piece of. This is a gorgeous piece of art. Yeah. So uh, it's a lot of work here, but uh, it's, yep. it's nice. So that's Very also fun. what I'm making at the academy, and that's I'm still working on my first uh, first one. But okay, it doesn't matter because uh, it's just what you. Uh, yeah, what you want to do, eh? Yeah. Very it's nice. Amazing. That is yeah. gorgeous. Well, Walter, I'm gorgeous. so glad we, we found you on, on, yes. on Facebook. And um, it's yeah. been a, a, a real eye-opener today. This is, yeah. uh, wow, you know. And I know, I know this... you're doing this like for, for, for pleasure as well. And yeah. maybe a little bit of, as an artist, maybe a little bit of pain to go with it. But uh... <laughs> yes, yeah. well, the other, the other thing is, if depending on what you what projects you have coming up over the next few months if you want to come back and show us by all means please yeah, yeah well it would be nice if i finish this one perhaps it okay. would be interesting to uh, to show you yes we'd love to see that you know, the light installations there they're just fabulous yeah, yeah. because uh, it has to be uh, ready for the end of this year of course <laughs> but uh, we have no, time. I already uh, uh, made all the i have to glue them together and then to electrically uh, uh, connect them together in a nice way because yeah. I don't that's also something I don't like wires like going like this you know it has to be very very neat Precise. yeah yeah no gorgeous gorgeous stuff so as you get more stuff or you're doing more paintings or whatever it might be and you're like I have to show the two old farts in their audience please let us know and come on and Please. even yeah. if it's only for 15 minutes just to show people what you're doing I think they're going to find it fascinating because you're out of all the artists we had you with the PowerPoint, you've, you've taken us through a journey. Most of them, they have stuff in the studio and we talk, which is very nice, but now people will get to know you and like your journey. And I think that's going to be very cool for a lot of fans. So very, very, that was awesome. So thank you thank so you much. For, uh, thank you for the opportunity to, uh, well, of course. to be here. It's really nice to meet you. We love it. Yes. It was a pleasure to meet you. Stay with us. This is where David gets to play with more of his magic that he likes to do with like, you know, this he learned this the other day. He's very excited. So yes. well, thanks David for connecting to me because we met each well, other through Facebook. So um yeah. yeah. Well thank you. Thank you for coming on the show. It's been an absolute pleasure. All right, here's, my, here's where I here's where I do our little bit. Everybody, thank you for watching today. Thank you, WW, for being with us. We hope to see you again soon. And if you like the show. Tell a friend, subscribe, like, leave comments below. And if you would like to be a guest on the show, reach out. And other than that, have a wonderful day, everybody. Over the rock and roll part. This is where David speaks. Well, sadly, uh, this is the end of uh, today's show. Um, a really big thank you to everyone who contributed today to the show. And of course, uh, thank you to my co-host, uh, Stephen Oldfart. I'm David Oldfart. Don't forget subscribe to the show and get all the latest updates from two old farts making noises oh wait david is this the big ending here david oh there it is there it is the copyright by two old farts <laughs>